How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Monday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great through these crazy, chaotic, yet positive times for me. If you could please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. So the move is done. We're in the new place. It's a step up. Energy is different. It's a whole different vibration. Just feel better as a man. It's just a better situation. Way more comfortable. Way bigger. Out of the city. It's just great. And uh, I feel a lot better. And I'm here to give you guys finally. Which I've been getting bothered for a lot. I'm, you know, I'm going to be honest. You guys are a little hardcore with the request for the Maplehurst video. But today, here it is. So, Maplehurst Central West Correctional Center. It is in Milton, Ontario. Which is just west of Mississauga. Between Mississauga and Burlington in the greater Toronto area. Now, you would think that that jail would only hold people from Peel region, maybe Halton region, but that is not the case because of STG and gang issues. A lot of guys from North York will end up in Maplehurst. So if you're basically from Jane and Finch, anywhere around there, and you're not on federal charges where you have to go to Old City Hall Court, I think even if you do have to go to Old City Hall Court, they'll take you, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you're not on federal charges and you are in the Jane and Finch area or you are in Halton region or you are in Peel region. So that is Mississauga, Brampton, Oakville, Kitchener, Burlington, uh, Milton or Jane and Finch. You are going to Maplehurst. Now I haven't spent a ton of time in Maplehurst but I've done just a bit of time there. Now I'll explain the situation. So I was in the West Detention. And at the time, the West Detention, you know, was that place, was that gooned out provincial situation. And me and three other dudes got shipped to Maplehurst because we had an extended period between our court dates and we ended up on eight block. Now, at the time, I think it was maybe 2002, maybe early 2003, 8A was the block that I landed on, was all black dudes. All it was, a handful of white dudes. Now, for me, it was okay. I came with a bunch of dudes from the West, and we were just on a different kind of energy. People weren't trying to punk us. We were kind of rolling together, and it was what it was. I never had to experience any of that harshness or any of that craziness. But I will tell you, Maplehurst is thumbs down. It is known for aggressive guards, such as Mighty Mouse, that bird. These guards are crazy. You know, they'll put their hands on you. They'll beat you up and they've even killed people. So just be careful. Don't run in there acting tough. Yo, 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 yo. When you're in A&D all by yourself, don't do it. You could put yourself in a bad situation. But Maplehurst is exactly the same setup as Lindsay or Penetang. Central East Correctional Center, Central North Correctional Center. So there's a bunch of blocks. The prison holds about 1,200 guys, maybe 1,250 guys. And the blocks are set up like octagons so when you come down the long hallway it will open up into an octagon and each side of the octagon is a glass window and the front to a pie shape range there is eight cells on the bottom eight cells on the top 16 total 32 guys max on each block and you can literally look through and see all the guys from different blocks now I never saw anything crazy when I was in Maplehurst. I never saw anybody get juked in the neck or stabbed in the eyeball and eye juice blasting all over the place. I never saw that. 
But what I did see was sad. What I did see was a lot of bullying. A lot of black guys bullying white guys and just bullying guys that were weaker. And I, and I don't think it was just a black guy thing, but I think that the way that it was was the white guys on this block specifically had just accepted that they were subordinate. That they were going to accept punk offs. And I don't know if it was because they were scared of being attacked by gang members, if they were scared by the numbers, but... Man, the stuff that I saw was crazy in this place. Now, I remember specifically, there were signs all over the block. All over the block. If you leave soap suds in the showers, there's a half price on Whoppers. If you leave any garbage in the sink, there's two for one Whoppers. And guys were literally being handed out bitch slaps like they were trick or treating. It was, it was actually quite sad. I've never really seen anything like it in any other prison except Tyak Young Offender. But it was crazy, man. Literally, guys just, why you do that? Whoosh! Oh, why you left that? Whoosh! Getting slapped out for everything. Now, obviously, Maplehurst is the same as any other uh, super jail. There's always gonna be shortage of staff lockdowns. You're gonna be spending majority of your time in your cell and you're gonna shake it rough. It is what it is. The food is horrible. It's all steamed meals that they stick under this hot lamp, heats up your meal to an incredibly hot and mushy temperature, and 90% of the meals are horrible. Thumbs down. Now, if you're in Maplehurst, I'm going to tell you, there's going to be problems. There's going to be STG situations. You're going to land on a block. There's going to be gang problems, and most likely, each block is going to be very high energy. It's going to be lots of young guys. And it'll be very easy to experience issues, get in fights, have problems. Just from saying the wrong thing. Because that's how prisons that are set up like that are. Now, for me, my time in Mipplehurst wasn't horrible. You know, I was treated with respect. I got the, the courtesy that I deserve. But when you see that many punk offs going on, you think to yourself, like, Really? Why is nobody putting these dudes who are doing the punk offs in check? You know, most places that you do time, when you see that kind of guys getting punked off for their food and their peanut butter and their honey buns all the time, usually somebody will step up and say, yo, enough is enough. But not in that place, man. Not in that place. And I will also tell you, it is harsh regime, military kind of time. I remember guys literally smoking a cigarette and running around, Ch -ch 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 Spray bottles, blowing baby powder everywhere. And it's like, you go to the guys and say, listen, dude. Don't you think it's a little strange that all of a sudden the whole block smells like baby powder? You know, the thing is, the smell of smoke is going to go away eventually. And the smell of smoke is obvious. But so is baby powder everywhere. Just blasting baby powder or Febreze all over the block isn't going to make them know less. It's going to make them know more. Now, when we were in Lindsay, it was a little bit of a different situation. We'd just go to the bubble and say, turn on the fan. We want some fresh air. They'd crank the fan. The f smell would go out. And it was like that they almost appreciated that. But in Maplehurst, they smell smoke. They smell weed. You're locked down. They were throwing you all in your cell. Uh, probably at some point they're going to come for a search and when they come for a search they're going to take all your extra clothes extra blankets if you have a pillow anything that you're not supposed to have out of there any extra underwear any extra t-shirts any extra jumpers out of there there's a lot of guys that'll have like crispy jumpers you know they'll have like the bootleg jumper that's for walking around on the block all day doing your workouts etc but then they'll have the new jumper that they got in the clothing exchange that they put under their mattress. They have it pressed, nice for their VIs. Take those, snatch those. They come in, they just tear the place up. Any extra sheets, anything you have made into a pillow, it just makes the time crazy, man. They literally go out of their way to make your time more difficult at places like Maplehurst. So I'm telling you right now, Maplehurst is literally the last place you want to go to in the GTA. It is going to be the most boring time. The feds are going to be strict. They're going to be harsh. They're going to be locking you down for everything. Shortage of staff all the time. Constantly in your cell. The showers are either going to be boiling hot 
or freezing cold. There's going to be all kinds of bullying, guys getting punked off. And if you're not prepared to defend yourself, time could be very rough there. I'm telling you, time could be rough there. You're going to see a lot of Friday night fights, guys getting forced to fight, even though they're not that kind of guy, just because guys are bored. You're going to see a lot of guys getting knocked out, stomped out, put to sleep. It's going to be hard to see sometimes, and it's going to weigh on your mind. Maple is not the kind of place you want to do any real time. And when I say that, I mean you don't even want to do a month there. And that's the whole point. They put you there. It's stressful. It's high strung. It's a crazy environment. The reason why they do that is to make you plead out. Up their conviction rate. Get your convictions going. So next time, wham, they slap you with a heavy pen bit. Don't be fooled by the system, man. Don't get caught up in that system where you're in and out of the provincial system, in and out, thinking you're getting slaps on the wrist, and all of a sudden you get hammered with federal time. And then there's the guys that get caught up and just do years of provincial time. I don't understand it personally. In my opinion, those guys that do years and years and years in provincial, there has to be some enjoyment there, or why would you keep putting yourself there? You know, I used to think that myself about all the pen time I did. Obviously, there's something there. And, I, and for me, it was comfort, you know? I felt more comfortable in jail and in prison than in the street. I was more accepted. People respected me more. There's not a lot of judgment. But in a place like Maplehurst, that's all it is. It's constantly being judged. Constantly people trying to start with you. Constant issues. And you're constantly on your toes. Obviously, I share my stories with you guys so you guys don't have to go through these things yourselves. If I can snap my finger, nobody goes to jail. Nobody goes to prison. Again, that is what I would do. But that's not a reality. We know that's not a reality, especially in 2021. Life is crazy. And you can't really expect anything but crazy. But I'm telling you, Maplehurst is not the spot to go to. It is probably literally the worst place to do time, except maybe the South, in the whole province, federal or provincial. Constant lockdown, like I said, shortage of staff. Them coming in, searching, taking all your stuff. Constantly getting locked down if they smell smoke, if they smell weed, if they smell tobacco. Constant fights, constant beefs, constant problems. It's going to be crazy. So if you're in Halton region, you're in Durham region, or you're in North York, Jane and Finch, and not on federal charges, you don't want to go there. I'm telling you, it's not that it's the scariest place in the world. It's not that it's the craziest place in the world, which it is kind of crazy, but it's the crappiest place in the world. It's the worst place to do time, probably in the province, like I said. Obviously, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all of my videos. So, like I said, Maplehurst is not the answer. Don't want to go time there, do time there. The food is junk. Maybe one out of every eight meals, nine meals you're going to enjoy place is probably desk for weed, desk for bogey. Sure, they're going to constantly have people coming in and bringing stuff in, but you're going to be locked down all the time because anytime they smell it, it's locked down. <laughs> Cert team coming in, messing around. It's crazy. You don't want to go to Maplehurst. Love each and every one of you. The New Mac Club.